Hi guys, welcome back to the Cooking with CB Foods channel. I'm Chef Carissa and today I have a special guest with me, none other than Timmy. Hey everybody, Timmy Sky here from Pink Apron. I'm also this girl's lucky husband and best friend. We're here today and don't forget to, before we go any further to hit that subscribe button. Right we're going to be there. cooking, we're going to be having fun and we just want you guys to be a part of it. So don't go any further, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to also follow us on Instagram at I love CB Foods and at Pink, Pink Apron, Apron J.A. JA. You bring the people, we, we bring, bring the, the food. food. All right, cool. So Riz, our nieces and nephews are coming yep. over. They're super hungry. What are we cooking for them today? So my nieces and nephews really love eggs. So we're going to make a chorizo sausage <laughs> or, yes. sorry, yes. <laughs> we're going to make a chorizo sausage and egg muffin. All right. And let me tell you about the ingredients I have. So we have Caribbean passion chorizo sausage. Yum. We have cheese because I mean, which kid don't Queso, love cheese? Bro. I love Queso. cheese. I have a little bit of thyme, mm -hmm. some diced tomatoes. If mm -hmm. the kids don't like tomatoes, you can leave it out. That's fine. When you say thyme, you mean like thyme? Yes, <laughs> No, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> like the herb. Okay. Oh. Time. Okay, cool. All right, Time. cool, cool, cool. I have some scallion. Yeah. This is some milk that we're gonna add to the egg just to make it a little more fluffy, and then we have some regular all-purpose seasoning that you can pick up on the counter anywhere. Okay. Yeah. All right. And yeah. last but not least, the most important ingredients are smart eggs. Timmy, why do you think these are called smart eggs? I'm pretty sure it's because of the omega-3. It's a smart gene. That's right, and yep. you know it's really good for your kids, too, guys. Yeah, so. make them smart. Brain food. Very good. Okay, so Timmy, here's what you're going to do. You are going to start by breaking these eggs for me. I'm your sous chef today. You are my sous chef. Or are you my sous chef? I, I'll, I can step down, no problem. Alright, cool. Alright. <laughs> Alright, chef. Let's go. Oh, what's happening? <laughs> Alright, so. Really? Yes. Really? Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I didn't see that happening. Hold on, I think it's all connected. Okay, you see, you see, you see I'm, a, I'm a chef, so you know, I have to um, do it uh, do it right when Can in the kitchen. Me... No, we're good. We're good with the time, man. You. Oh, thank you, Riz. You're always looking out for me. You know, real one. Sometimes. All right, all right so cool. you're gonna crack your eggs. Mm -hmm. um, what I'd like for you to do, okay, crack. Um, them individually in okay. this bowl first and okay. then you put them in there. With That's just like a good thing to do. Yes. I was thinking while we cook, mm -hmm. let's just play a game so that people get to know us better. Sounds good. As you know, but they don't know, we just celebrated two years of marriage. Two just whole years. Year. Congratulations, you did it. Thank you for putting up with me for Trust so me. long. It wasn't easy again. <laughs> <laughs> day by day. So, I figured let's see who knows each other better. Right? Sounds good. Alright? So you have your questions, right? I do. Let me I get have them. my questions. Yeah. And while well, we're gonna whistle and ride, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All so right. I'm gonna... So you prep, I prep. All right. So let me just questions. tell you guys what I'm doing right now. So right now I'm cutting up the chorizo, which is actually fully cooked. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna saute it in a pan. If you can, but I do that, you can skip this step. But so I'm just gonna cut it in small, little diced pieces. So I'm gonna cut it down the middle. And cut this in three like this. Remember, you're going into small muffin tins, so you want nice bite sizes. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm almost done with my eggs. These nice. eggs are beautiful. They're so these are like so bright in color. Yeah. It's crazy. Is that, that omega, omega I'm three. seeing? Omega, omega three. three, and that's why it's called smart eggs. These are brilliant. This Very smart. bright yolks. I love it. What's love, my love, first love. question? Who you know? All right. So the first question is, if I were yeah. to go on vacation tomorrow, mm -hmm. where would I want to go? Oh. Three Big seconds time. to answer. Three seconds? Paris? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Paris? Paris, I mean, for sure. I think that's I a know. safe answer. Paris is always a good answer, for sure. So I'll give you that yeah, one. All right. No problem. I'll give you that one. Right. Am I supposed to whisk, whisk these eggs? Um. Yes, so you're going to whisk the eggs. Okay. And then you're going to add a little bit of milk. I'm going to season it up a little bit. So whisk first. Whisk first, yes. All right, cool. No okay, problem. my question for Timmy is, what is the first thing I do when I wake up? <laughs> <laughs> you go on your phone? First of all, Timmy is not awake when I wake up. That's true. That's so Timmy I, do wake up. That's I very wake true. Up that's very day. true. I'm going to say you go on your phone. Yeah, I feel like that's right. Okay, and I mean that, that includes a bunch of stuff. You have your devotion, you check your messages, your emails, you're very productive in the morning. 
true, right? true, true, true. Okay, that's true, cool. that's true. All right. Okay. My question to you now. Yeah, next question. By the way, are these eggs good? Yeah, man. These are, nice. Oh my They're god. Beautiful. Can you guys see this color? It is guys, amazing. If you're not using smart eggs, honestly. You're not you're smart. Not smart. You're not smart. So look at this color. Yeah. Okay, so I want you to add some milk to this for me. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to add a little bit of scallion. Okay. Some all purpose just to season it up. Okay. You want to have a, a little, yeah, some flavor. Mm -hmm. Have a little bit of thyme here. Some tomatoes. So mm -hmm. you just. You know, the colors the are so chair. rich, so rich, my friend, so Beautiful. rich. Beautiful. Beautiful colors. Oh my goodness. All right. So adding milk. Yeah, man. All you right. just do. do you're me. the head chef. I am both here. Yeah. All right. Facts. Facts. Next question, Risa. Yep. Yeah, let's hear it. What is my favorite meal to cook? Hmm. So Timmy recently went on this um, vegetarian thing. <laughs> vegetarian. Some farmer bean. Me don't know. <laughs> Curry chickpea. Favorite meal to cook? Recent name on this Asian soup thing. Mm. Some bear pak choy I cook every day. Um, <laughs> Pause seasoning. Yeah, and I like to make all purpose. This is all purpose seasoning that we're adding. Yep. That's good. Yep. Man, this seven. color is so good. What do you like to cook? I don't so, know. So what good. else? So, my favorite meal to cook would definitely be Mexican. Oh yeah, that's good. Good try. It's good try. Good try. Good try. You know that black yeah. bean. Yeah, it's very, yeah, yeah, ve sunny. very vegetarian mm -hmm. friendly. All right, Reese, yep. sous chef Reese, talk to me. Am I doing this correctly? I'm more testing you than anything. Um, I mean, I feel like uh, I'm not a baker, don't get me wrong, but um, this is what I see people doing. So I think ideally you want to kind of whisk from the side to get the liquid at the bottom okay. to come up to the top. Okay. So you're trying to incorporate everything. And it's of course, uh, yeah. the point of whisking is to incorporate air into the mixture. I see. So that I way see. when you bake it, it's nice and fluffy. I see. And since I have you here, I'll just ask you some more questions yes. in terms of the milk. We're going to add some more yes, milk. Yes, so right? we add some milk to this. Milk yeah. will also help with the fluffiness. Okay. So that should be good. Yeah. Um, Guys, don't worry. The measurements, they'll be below in the... In the um, this, you know, Mm. The description. <laughs> 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 that little thing down there. Yes, yes the ingredients the in the description yeah, we'll be down box. Below it will all be there. For sure, yeah. All right, Timmy, so you can okay. continue that. Let me finish cutting up yeah. sausage. All right, it's all about the wrist, wrist movement and you want to incorporate air. Okay, yeah. cool. Is it my question now? Yeah, it's your question. Okay, my now. question. Where was our first date? Hmm. <laughs> that's that. good that's that. really good where was our first date i feel like it was to papayas we bought papayas <laughs> and we sat in the car and ate it yeah that was our first Popeyes. date you don't remember Popeyes do you? Was open in mm -hmm. Popeyes drive through Popeyes in Manor Park mm -hmm. Okay, sure. You don't remember? Okay, it is. I don't recall. recall. All right, no, you can't I'm ask so a friend. All right, I, I'm going to take, that, later. I'm gonna take <laughs> that as my win because I, and I'm going to uh, add some sure. more seasoning as well. Popeyes. Yeah, man, Popeyes, First for sure. Popeyes. Adding some scallion, <laughs> give it some color. Yeah, man, I was a student back then. I never That's have no... That's true. Yeah, days. Yeah, on a budget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, and I'm going to add some queso because, I mean, cheese just makes everything better. That's right. And I'm going to ask you your question. Now. Yeah, what's my question? Your question is what is my favorite color? So easy. That's easy. Mm -hmm. He's wearing it. It's red. Red, red boss. Yes. For sure. Red is my favorite red color. Red and more red. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Guys, can I <laughs> <laughs> Cheese, I mean, cheese, there's never too much cheese. cheese on We're it. just gonna <laughs> go with it. We're just gonna go with it. More cheese. cheese. Love cheese. Did we mention yeah. cheese is good? Che I love cheese, so I'm just gonna go with it because yeah. I'm running the show today. Yeah. You don't know. So yeah. All right. I what think we're. What else are you adding in there? You adding tomatoes? Oh, you want me to add tomatoes? Yeah, you can I'm add. not really a tomato oh, actually, person, but. Yeah, if you don't like tomatoes, you don't have to add it. But what mm -hmm. I'm gonna do is I'll put them in here when we're assembling, so yeah. some don't have to have tomatoes. Kind of some kids don't really love the tomato thing. What you, what you can do is just cut it up really small, so a very small dice, so they won't even notice. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we're All good right. here. We're good here. Are you good on your sausage? Sausage is perfect. Yeah. So now I'm gonna jump over to the stove and I'm just gonna saute these up with a little bit of scallion and a little bit of oil and seasoning. Yeah. And then we're gonna just pan it up and into the oven and we're good to go. Question: You said Talk these are me. fully cooked already, but They're you still fully want cooked. us to saute. Why? I want to because I feel like it brings out more of the flavor and we can incorporate some other flavors in it with the heat. And okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. No I'm extra like that. Alright, so moving over to the Moving over to the stove. Alright, cool. 
Okay, guys, so I'm almost done here. So you're just gonna grab a saute pan so hungry. From, <laughs> from your kitchen, <laughs> and then you're gonna grab some oil and just coat the bottom of the pot. Don't put too much oil in here because you know the sausage will produce its own oil. Nice. And then. What type of oil are you using, by the way? Today I'm using vegetable oil, but if you're on the healthier side, you know you can use your coconut oil, your olive oil, or if you love the butter, you can use butter. Because butter makes butter everything. makes everything better. And then I'm just gonna turn on my fire to a medium heat. Nice. Wait on that to get a little hot. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna add some scallion. If you have onion and thing, you can use that. But I know a lot of kids don't really love onion. Ooh, My do you hear that sizzle? Them don't like it. Reese, how do you know when to add like stuff to the oil when you turn it on? You just have to feel it. You just feel it. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you just put your hand there. So and you don't have to like wait till it starts smoking, X, Y, Z. No, do not that. make it smoke. Okay, don't. All no, right. normally it's like teeny weeny bubbles in it. And okay. it should be alright. Okay. There are ways to test it, but the way I test it is not right. I mm -hmm. splash water in it sometimes. Bad idea. Mm -hmm. Don't do that at all. Okay, home. okay. So, <laughs> so give it like a minute or two. Yeah, and you normally can feel like, okay, this yeah. second hand. Okay, put your hand so over like about, it. Maybe? I said two to three minutes and mm -hmm. it should be good. Alright, so I'm just going to saute that up a little bit. Oh. And then Timmy, can you hand me the sausage? The yeah, man. Chorizo sausage. Chorizo sausage. It's already cooked, so yeah. we're just. What? It's already cooked, so we're not yeah. cooking it very long. Okay. You can just dump it in there. Just dump? Yeah. Last time I dumped it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of cheese, bro. Oh, that smells so good. I just right, love so the way scallion smells. Mmm. Alright. Okay. So Timmy just added the sausage, and remember guys, this is fully cooked Caribbean passion chorizo sausage. You don't want it to cook any longer because you, what we're really doing is trying to incorporate some flavor on the actual sausage. Um, I'm actually going to add a little bit of all-purpose here because I believe in flavoring throughout every single step of the way. So put a little season here. Yeah, that's good. And then we're just going to saute it really, really fast. So at this point, I'm actually going to turn up my heat. Just get the sausage going to give it a nice little, you know, little golden brown vibes happening here. This smells good. Timmy, you all right back there? You looking good, sous chef. I'm good. <laughs> Stop calling me sous chef. <laughs> I all thought right. you were. Look good, right? All yeah, right, man. so this is just about done. Really, we're just heating it up, mm -hmm. getting some flavor in it, turning it off, and then we're going to head back over to the counter where we're gonna prep the mm, rest of this. So good. Okay guys, it's assembly time. So the first thing you want to do is grab a cupcake pan. If you have a smaller one, it's fine. If you have like, you know, some people just have a six one, it's okay. Good. So remember, each egg gives you one muffin. Right. So what we want to do first is get a non-stick vegetable spray or whichever spray you have. And you're just gonna spray each of these. Spray them well, because you know what happens if you don't spray. <laughs> It can be a whole mess. I've done that many times. And by the way, if you have cupcake liners, you can also use those. Yeah, man. Right. We're good. Mm -hmm. All right. So time to assemble. All right. So this is the fun part. So we know that timid or really, not really, you know, the tomato thing. So we can make maybe just two. But remember, this is not really for us. It's for the kitties. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is you can just put sausage at the bottom of each of these for me, please, right. sir. Each one. Yes, thank Except you. Except the last two. Except the last two. Oh yeah, it's vegetarian. You can put a decent. Sausage? You can put a little bit more. Heavy with it. Not too heavy. You want to all make right. sure you have enough for all of them. For everybody. Yeah. Evenly. And then while you're doing that, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab tomatoes, and I'm gonna put them. Remember, if your kids don't like this, you don't have to add it. If they like onions, you can add onions. You can substitute with a whole heap of things: spinach, mushroom, you name it. What are you doing there? All right, let me put. Good to go. All right, perfect. So I'm just gonna add tomatoes. You can add a little bit more scallion. I just like to add the scallion for some color and a little extra flavor. Oh, this looks pretty. Very beautiful. Reese, when I'm pouring, do I pour yeah. all the way to the top? No, so I would say go to maybe about halfway. Halfway. Because remember, you need to leave room for it to expand. All right. Ooh, all right. Beautiful. <laughs> that looks good. Okay. Yeah, man. All right, so fill up the last one. So Timmy can go ahead and just add a little bit more cheese on the top. All right. So all that's your specialty. Queso is best, though. Queso is best, though. All right. Cheese. Jeez. I mean, you could have, okay, that mm -hmm. works. Jeez. Yeah, man, that's nice. And mm. then, of course, guys, our oven is already preheated to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're just going to bake these for about 15 minutes and it should be good to go. Okay. 
Beautiful. Thank you so much. Of course. All right, so let's you. go over to the oven. Can I carry it for you? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Such a gentleman when you're ready. <laughs> So these egg muffins are almost ready. Okay, it's tied up right now. One more question for each of us. Okay. Ladies before gentlemen, so go first. Okay. Okay, so if there was one thing in the world that I could eat for the rest of my life, what would it be? I know what I would eat. So I'm going to say that you would want to eat... Hmm. I don't even know. I have something. Apple pie from BK Girl, for the sale. What? No? Apple <laughs> Pasta? First of all, BK does sell apple pie, that's for pie. Hershey Sunday pie. Hershey Sunday pie, that's, that's like. it. But no, I would probably go with um, maybe like some form of seafood, like fish. I like that's, I like a good fried fish or steamed okay. fish. Okay, that's good. Good job, good job. Yeah. So I lost a point. All Absolutely. Right. All right. Your question for me. My now. question for you. Mm -hmm. If I could go back to one moment in the past and relive it, what moment would that be? Definitely the day you met me because I'm the best thing that wow. happened. Wow, wow, that's just not fair. But yeah, for sure, for sure. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. You are, you are. I'm trying to think of yeah. something for you, Lou. Um, hmm. One more, I don't know. There's so many to me, yeah. honest. I think I'd go back to the day that I left my um, 9 to 5 and came to work for you full time. You don't work for me, you work with me. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're the boss. Yeah, I know I'm the boss, yes. but you know, you can work side by side. Yes, mm, yeah. yeah, for okay. sure. Cool. Love you. Love you too, bro. Yeah, man. That smells so good. Guys, I'm hungry now. I'm not like... Can we take it out? You're not ready yet. Are Maybe you, like I five more minutes. Her, so I'm ready. What the great help for me? You can't get the people that were out in. All right. All right. So it's really good though. And really, really, really we'll good. Have to be yeah. Yes. It's lunchtime, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, guys. These are our beautiful egg and chorizo muffin made with Caribbean passion chorizo sausage and smart eggs. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to share this video with a friend, comment below, and like the video as well. And don't forget, subscribe, subscribe, yeah, subscribe. subscribe. And guys, yeah. These look excellent. Trust me. Excellent. Egg. <laughs> Amazing. These are oh, beautiful, beautiful. And guys, if you have any suggestions for other recipes that you mm -hmm. want us to try, comment it below. Yeah, man. Let, Let us, us know, know that you tried, tried it. it. Yeah. Yeah.